Hello, Scorpio. Okay, first I want to apologize about not being able to get the last half of December love readings out. As you can see, there is a switch of cameras here. I had to bring out the old whippersnapper here, but I do apologize about not getting your video out. So, you and Libra are going to be the first and second to be the love readings for January 1st to the 15th of 2019, okay? So let's see. Okay, so the first card we have is the Magician in the Reverse. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords in the Reverse. We have the Hermit, the Two of Cups, Page of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, but I'm not going to take it. So, let's go ahead and start off with the Magician in the Reverse. So the Magician is in the Reverse because of the Eight of Wands in the Reverse and the Tower Upright. So you are not manifesting something. Someone here I feel like wants to communicate or you were going in a direction with somebody but now that has came to a halt. There is some sort of blockage here, some sort of ending actually, should I, should I say with the tower card. There is some sort of ending here. You want something to crumble. You want something to fall here with the magician in the reverse. You are not trying to manifest with a certain type of person here, with the tower, you are actually wanting the tower, okay? Or this could be vice versa here, you know, not feeling very powerful, feeling very blocked because things right now are coming down, the tower's coming down, so you're feeling stuck, you're, you're feeling like you don't know what to do, you're feeling like you don't have the power, and the advice would be to just go with it, no matter what you guys are going through. And for a lot of you, it's going to be different, but it's going to be hell. Um, you know, just let it ride is just the best thing I can tell you here. Okay? The tower comes in when something needs to end. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And we have your card at the bottom of the deck. So you're, you're standing in your power right now with death and letting things end because, you know, with endings come new beginnings. Your Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is in the reverse because of the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So... There is no communication here going on with this person, but with the Ace of Wands, I feel like what you're not telling them, Scorpio, is that you are headed in another direction. You are doing something new, something that's passionate. Maybe um, you are seeing someone else, maybe a fire sign, and you see success with this person here, okay? But with the Ace of Swords, there isn't clarity, so someone here is not... Um, communicating and the hermit here has their back towards has their back turned towards the ace of swords here so you're trying to avoid communication or someone here is avoiding communication um, and they just want to move along but 
what you're not telling them or vice versa is that you are on a brand new beginning here. We have the Hermit. And you feel very, pretty victorious about not telling them that. Because you're doing better. You're doing better. So the Hermit is here because of the Six of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So with the Hermit, you have taken a time out. You have reflected upon this relationship and you see things for how it is. You see the clarity of it, okay? But with the Six of Swords in the reverse, you're having a hard time mentally detaching from all this commotion. You're having a hard time mentally detaching from the relationship here. And you're having such a hard time because there's been so many fights, there's been so many back and forth, okay? So even though you're moving forward, you're having a hard time mentally detaching because of all the shit that you realize what, what has went down. We have the Two of Cups. So the Two of Cups is here because of the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So you are um, very defensive about this relationship here. There is love. There is a connection here. Okay? But you feel like this connection is not your wish fulfillment. You feel like you're not going to get your emotional needs met from this person. Therefore, again, with the Seven of Wands, you see this relationship for really how it is. So, you're not going to settle for any less, is what I'm getting here, Scorpio. There is a connection here, but you're not going to settle for any less. Because of what has happened in the past, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. So with the Page of Cups in the reverse, we have the Seven of Swords with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this could be someone who is not sharing their emotions here, someone who is not coming forward. Yeah, someone here is not speaking up. Someone here is not offering a, an apology, but someone else knows that they're not offering an apology because they know that um, they were the ones who started shit okay, is what I'm getting with that, or if this is someone who does come and apologize, the, it's, it's some type of manipulation here going on, okay, so for some of you, there, for a lot of you, there's going to be no communication, and if there is, there's some sort of deception here, there is a hardcore ending with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, but you're releasing the backstabbing, you're releasing the burden, you're releasing the hurt, okay? You see this for how it is. And we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So, the Ace of Cups is in the reverse because of the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So there is a, uh, a relationship here that is not going to have a brand new emotional beginning here, okay? But I still see you carrying the burdens of this. Again, we have it on top of the Six of Swords in the reverse, so 
you know, all this shit that has happened, what has went down from the past, it's still going to trigger you, okay, even though you're moving forward, it's still going to trigger you, and that's why I do see you still carrying the burdens with the Ten of Wands, and, you know, going back and forth with the Two of Pentacles, okay, so we have, like, one, two, we have two tens here, there's an ending, Okay, let's go ahead and pull a card of advice. Time for a nap in the reverse. You are a human being, not a human doing. Is it possible you're suffering for workaholism? Could you be the one who thinks it's your job to save everyone? to be there for everyone, and to go, go, go until you can barely see straight. You've gone as far as you can. You work hard and nourish people and projects, but now you are an empty well and have no reserves for others or for yourself. Don't let your ego keep you going full speed when your body and spirit need rest. Exhaustion is calling you to stop what you're doing altogether and take a break. If you don't, the appearance of this card could portend a possible illness that stems from being totally overwhelmed. You will feel like a new person if you take that break. Do it now. Okay, Scorpio. So, I am offering personal readings. You can find that in the description box below. Thank you. Bye.